say that. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Beer Thirty. I'm Greg. That's Josh. That's Josh. Also. Hi, hey. Greg. Hey, hey, guys. It is a wonderful day today because we have a new beer, like yeah. we do about this time. And is it new? It, well, it's a beer, and um, you know what? I didn't Chicken put butt. the I didn't put the name in you, the notes here. Tell us your story about so it. So I guess it doesn't matter. Out. You did too. It's called uh, Old Town Porter Narrow from Narrow Gauge. Old Town Porter from uh, Narrow Gauge Brewing. Do you ride down Old Town Road to drink this? Uh. That's a, is that that uh, yeah Billy song Ray Cyrus that's Cyrus been right at the top of the charts for yeah. Yeah. nobody tell me nothing now we're gonna take be flagged it, take it away yeah we will too they're gonna take the auto it probably away. sounded exactly like <laughs> cause I'm old <laughs> cause I'm not 27 <laughs> so um, this is can you give us some uh, uh, statistics on sure. this? <laughs> this is an American Porter. It, it has an ABV of 5.7. It comes to us from Narrow Gauge Brewing Company out of St. Louis, Missouri. Or where is it? Florissant, Missouri? Florissant. Yeah. Uh, where they make fluorescent lights. <laughs> fluorescent lights. <laughs> Overall. You know I used to think that because it's spelled like Oh damn it. <laughs> now you gotta clean the bar again. Can oh, you shoot? Can you hand me a paper towel over there? Overall, uh, no, I need a paper towel. 87 out of 100 score on Beer Advocate. That sounds pretty good, right? Sure. So, uh, yeah. If you see here... Uh, I have not been to Narrow Gauge, but it's on my list. This was uh, first time going there. Um, enjoy the experience. Uh, we'll talk about it more in the podcast, but they have a really nice restaurant. Um, it's basically a restaurant with brewery attached because the, the brewery isn't really the main focus of this place. Hmm. Uh, Even though their name's Narrow Gauge Brewing? Yeah, but the, the place is... Oh, man. Okay, I was going to ask the question to Google. I was going to say, what is the difference between a porter and a stout? And look what I typed in. Difference? And look at the very next thing. That's pretty amazing. Wow. Difference between Porter and Stout. They're All listening. I typed in. Now, okay, let's talk about Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. Yeah. And, you, and give it a couple minutes. Let's talk about them for a little bit and type in the difference <laughs> and see if it comes up with Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. That can't You're going to have to refresh your browser here in a minute. But, <laughs> you know, comparison of art, or Yeah, comparison uh, of... So, like, a pop singers of the 90s? No, just, just type in the word comparison of... <laughs> And see if it comes back with Britney Spears and no. Well, you're in an incognito window now. Aren't well, true, because you killed your... Oh, oh I thought That's you killed it. We're getting way out of what we are. Okay, so this is Old Town Porter. What did you say, 5.4%? That is pretty weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was like 4 point, or 5.4, yeah. 5.4. Aren't, aren't porters typically a little bit higher? You know, I'm going to look at... I uh, thought they were called porters... Um, what doesn't it doesn't it go back kind of like porterhouse steak? It's what they ate at the port. Um, I have like no idea. At the, like a fisherman, I think it has something to do with fishermen. Five point seven. And oh, I thought you said four point five. Eating, drinking port, drink port wine. Maybe yeah. that's too. Yeah. Uh, the difference is complicated. No, we don't have time for all yeah, this. We don't have time. time for complicated. But I thought it was because I thought porters were considered ales. Maybe they're both considered ales. This is uh, so on. It has a little crest of fluorescent on it. This was a great place. I, I really enjoyed bulb. going there. They had really good food. So, uh, huh? A little light bulb. Yeah. I'll talk about it later on our Stuck in Beta podcast. But this beer, I mean. Yeah, what do you think? pretty solid. I mean, if I didn't know that it was a porter, I would call it a stout because it seems very thick to me. Porters typically have more IBU, don't they? Uh, they're they're I more. Don't know. I think they're a little bit more bitter than stouts typically are. Mm. So this seems more bitter to yes. you. Yes. Yeah, I could see that. I don't think it was as thick as a stout. No, I think? agree. Oh. No, it's as dark as one, but it's not. It's yeah. not as thick. 
And I, I'm almost certain quarters have higher IBU. It's almost got a different mouthfeel, too. Yeah, I see that. It's good, though. I, really, I enjoy it. You could probably make a lighter stout and say, Here, oh, sure. this, and it'd right. be, I don't know. Hmm. It's a dark beer. It, it's very solid. It tastes, tastes good. Um, mm -hmm. Man, I don't know anything bad to say, to say about no. this. No. But, uh, yeah. I give it an A. <laughs> yeah, sure. A. We give it an A with no... Uh, no justification. No justification, just it tastes really good. Yeah. All right. Even on a 90 plus degree day, Ugh. it is so gross outside. Mm -hmm. But there you go, narrow gauge brewing. Oh, I'm even wearing a shirt. Oh, look at you, oh, get it. Free advertising. Free, yeah, I figured. See you next time. They give you a free meal. <laughs>